here is a road and the brook usually goes under the road. But this is a really great analogy of trauma. So as I was told in my training, the nervous system compared to the brook. Uh, the brook usually stays within its boundaries and everything flows and moves through and each emotion and feeling is complete, stays within the boundary. It completes, it's processed, it's, it's gone. But in trauma, it's too overwhelming. The electrical feeling state rises and gets past the boundary. It can't contain it. It is moving so fast, overwhelmed, too loud, too much, too violated. And so it makes its way out of the boundary and not out of the body. And here's where trauma is. It stayed in the, in the body, not within the boundary. So it is overwhelmed and stuck. And therefore, you feel explosive, upset, high anxiety, high stress, high activation. There's so much energy and it didn't move through the system like it was designed so that you stay whole, complete, vital. Oh, I'm going so fast, you're probably getting sick to your stomach. So there's a quick little way of understanding a little bit about why trauma happens. It's not the event, it's not the flooding, and it's whether your nervous system can handle it or not. And depending on your age, your resilience, your capacity, everyone's nervous system is different. So everyone experiences everything differently and about their own capacity. And if you're curious, interested in more information or want a free discovery session on what's been happening for you to understand how trauma feels as we start to heal it with somatic experiencing, let me know. Sharon LaFlam, Creating Serenity Now. I'd love for you to check out more of my trauma healing tips, coping strategies, and information right here on YouTube. Namaste.